Hey guys, so today I want to talk to you about making sure that during this lockdown, you really make time for yourself. to today's Create Your Life podcast. You're here with Adam and Christina and we're super excited to talk to you about this. During everything that's going on right now, there's a lot of smaller stuff going on, a lot of things that people are really not taking into account with their life. So today I really wanted to talk about making sure that during this lockdown, you make time for your personal self right absolutely yeah definitely agree um just going outside of what's happening in the world right now we've been doing this as we've been traveling for two years now with our kids and um most of the time it's in a smaller area whether it be our trailer down in florida or a bungalow here in bali and the space is somewhat small so we need to allow for our own personal growth and silence Absolutely. And I totally, I couldn't agree more with you, Christina. Um, you really have to take time because we're not used to this. We're used to this, but you may not be used to this because of the, the virus and everything that's going on. People have been locked down in their house. So you, you normal situation, you get up in the morning, you go to work, come home, you'll spend what, three, four hours with your spouse, go to bed, do it again the next day. Now, you're getting up in the morning, you're in your house for 16 hours together. It's not normal in most relationships. So you're getting bothered by each other. And we really want to make sure that during this time, you still go and do something for yourself. You, you really go and whatever you're passionate about, if you have a project, I know Christina used to make soap. She used to love to make soap. I give her the time to do it. As a husband, I make sure my wife gets what she needs to be happy. As a wife, I'm hoping Christina does the same for me. Well, so you tell me. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> like we spend time if I'm like, look, I need an hour. I need to go and woodwork or whatever I want to do. I know that I'm okay to do that because Christina's going to give me my space. So husbands and wives, couples out there, give your, your significant other the space they need, right? Go for a walk. Walks are great. You're still isolated. Go for a drive. Still isolated. Um, but take time for yourself. Yeah. And I think even going further, I know people aren't even allowed out of their house. Mm -hmm. So plug in. Uh, grab your phone. Put your ear pod in and go somewhere in a different space, even if it's the bathroom. Yeah. And take a half an hour, 45 minutes. Ladies, go into the bathroom, paint your toenails. Think about nothing. Put that music on and calm yourself. The kids are everywhere right now. You need that space to be able to regroup and be able to be kind to them still. They have no idea what's going on. And the way we explain things, they're still, their mind, imagination goes everywhere and they're still running around. You need the space so that you can breathe in front of them, teaching them how to be calm right now. Absolutely, absolutely. And for guys, don't do that. <laughs> go and read. I don't know if you're a video gamer, go play some video games by yourself. Go for a limited time. But yeah, don't no eight, sixteen hour a day playing video games. I've I've been caught doing that before. <laughs> but you're wasting your time where you can develop and grow yourself. If Absolutely. You're doing that, right? Plug into, listen to a podcast, find a, a CD you like, listen to that. Mm -hmm. Um and just change your state. Cause Honestly, you know, and I know, but I'm just going to come out and say this, this isn't going to last forever. This is just a time frame. This is a, a situation that we're all kind of forced to be in. But I really want you guys to learn from this, grow from this. If you're not growing, you're what? Dying. Dying. And we don't want to go back in life. We want you to really take this time and move forward and be excited to, to what you can create in your life. Here's, here's a good thing. Set goals. What is the first thing you're going to do the minute, you know, the warden opens the door and says, hey, you're free, right? What are you going to do? You're going to plan it. 
right? So plan it now, plan something, plan your trip. Where am I gonna go in 2021? Cause you're probably not gonna go anywhere this year. Um, so just plan it and have fun with it, right? What's your goal to get out of this isolation? Write a book, find a new side gig, like an online business. Um, what else can hey, you do? Draw. Right? Dig into your hobby. What are you coming out of this isolation with? Obviously a new skill, something you're coming out. You, uh, what is your plan in regards to living life when we're out? Are you going to have appreciation for all the things like going out for dinner, um, being able to go and see your friends? That appreciation should be expanded once we're all done. And you can start thinking about that right now. Absolutely. 100%. Well, you know what? I don't really have much more to say for today. You? Allow yourself time and forgive yourself. It's okay not to know what to do right now. It's okay. But set a plan to do something. Absolutely. Confusing? Right. No. Good. Straightforward. You know what? I hope you enjoy this podcast. Remember to subscribe. Like it, share it, do what you gotta do. We really wanna impact lives out there. Um, this is our project, right? Maybe you guys wanna start a project together, a podcast together, whatever you wanna do. But this is our project that we really wanna impact lives from the, the isolation that we're in. So thank you guys. We love ya. Hope everything's going well. Stay and, positive. Uh, stay positive. Thanks.